What is up to another episode of GTD Vassing? Lone Man Edition. Because lately we've just been doing them with one person. I think it's kind of stupid, but you know. It's GTD Vassing, right? There's three dudes in it. But um, both Drew and Grant did a uh, tackle unboxing kind of deal. I know they're boring, but I thought maybe you guys may want to see my tackle. Um, but I don't have that much. I'm just going to do a short little review of it. Do some reels and a few lures. Here we go. And by the way, when we do them by ourselves, we're going to call them the Lone Ranger Edition of GT Bassing. It's going to be pretty sweet. So next up, my tackle. And three, two, I'm back, One. and I'm gonna talk about reels first. I get my reels. Um, I'm gonna be talking about open reels, then bait casters, and uh, I got a few new bait casters, but mostly I have a few open reels. I don't use them that much, but they're fun. They're good reels. Um, first up, I can't seem to find my other open reel. Hmm. Whatevs. I'll find it at 1.0. Up here. Let's get to my crappy rig. This is just a little Shakespeare. Um. As you can see. Pretty horrendous. But this thing's just Shakespeare with like 8 pound long film on it. Like I said, this is gonna be a quick video, so shouldn't be too bad. Here's a rod I found. It's from Shields. It's a little shot on this rod. Um, medium light, triangular series from Shields. Pretty sweet rod. Let's get to my um. Oh, by the way, well, let's get to my reels. But by the way. So then my rod snapped, that's why I don't have that many rods. I'm gonna restock in a little bit. First up, got a little open reel. Um and I'm thinking this is a president. Got some, I think 14 pound braid. Pretty good line. Bright yellow, I don't know if you can see that. Now let's get to my bait casters. I'm all Abu Garcia. I love Abu. So, on first, got Abu Garcia Black Max. Abu Garcia. Oh, um, where's it say Black Max? Right on the front. Garcia Black Max. It's a good reel. Um, so, that's a good thing. Okay, um. Here's what it looks like. I don't know, I think I may have used this. I've used this in a video or two. Um, I got suffix line on there. 10 pound monofilm. Go. Um, if you want, I think they're at Shields, pretty sure. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Next up we have the black mat, the silver mat. So the silver mat. Oh, shucks. Fell over, right? Um, Supermax, Abu Garcia. Thinking of getting a new bait caster sometime soon. By the way, these things have an action to spin back in your box. But, um, this one's kind of tried to. I've had some knots in line, tried not to get through though, that spool, but. Just did a silver max, as you can see, it's had its fair share of wear and tear. Just got this thing a few months ago. It's a pretty good reel. Um, the line I have on is right over here. Um, found it. Trial line, 10 pound, mono. Good stuff, you know. Good stuff. Got back in there. Yeah. That's that. 
that. Just quick. And so, um, on, no, I'll just do ice fishing. Um, this is just ice fishing and jig heads. This is pretty boring, so I'm just gonna quickly go through it. As you can see there, got our stuff, got buzz tails, got a lot of fuzzy crap with that, jig heads. These are good for walleye here. Pilkies, always roll to pilkies. This is a good pilky. Catch a lot of panfish on those, but that's about it. This I know this is pretty boring. But uh here we go, banjo mono. If any of you guys like to fish for pike, get the banjo mono. Okay, just best thing you can catch northerns on, in my opinion. Catch great fish on them. There you go, just use some plastics in there. Uh, and here's gels. Kind of warm. Quick flash and gels. Some cream, the cream. Cheap stuff, two bucks. You get some soft baits and get them in a hurry. Just get the same thing. Works the same. Catch big bass too. Um, here's crank baits. Jerk baits. Got a whopper popper in there. It's on the first and one of our tackle whopper popper. Horrible lure. Um, got sparkle tails in there. Those are good. Jumbo crank baits. Jerk baits. I mean, sorry. A few crank baits too. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. So this is just a brief. Got some spoons. Uh, this is a devil one. Devil spin, red and white. Good spinners. I prefer that white spinner right there. The uh, hula popper. This is a good bass lure. The hula popper. All good all around. Oh, I almost forgot. Flicker shots. Over there by Berkeley. Can't go wrong. You can catch bass. Some bluegill. And uh, these little dudes. E bait them. They're from China. And my dog ate one. Pretty gnarly stuff. And that's just hooks and weights. So that's pretty boring. Um, I know. Well, this hasn't been as long as I thought it would be. But. If you kept watching this video, thank you. It's been fun. So far in GTD Bassing for like the month and a half we've had the channel. Subscribe. Like. Oh, actually. You know what? I, this video's not ended. I'm not going to do my fly fishing gear, but I'll just do one reel. This is an Orvis reel. Good, pretty good reel. Um, here it is. Orvis, as you can see. Um, it's pretty awesome. We used it up in Colorado this year. It was fun. Um, saw some brown trout. This is really cool. But uh, like well, oh, hold on. If you want me to talk about my fly fishing gear, which it's already been eight minutes, so which I cannot do. Um, just comment below. I'll do it. But, uh, subscribe, like, and like we always say, fish on. Do -do -do -do. Here's the culprit who swallowed that fishing lure. It's the man, the myth, the legend, Buddy the Doll. Say hi, bud. Miniature golden doodle. There he is. That's the culprit.